Good morning, good morning, thank you. Welcome to this edition of Bicenters and Instance. I'm Christian Chiku. You're welcome to this uh, edition of the program. Uh, you can see four scarcity looms in Lagos in Nigeria, and you can see people at the bus stop still waiting for uh, buses that will uh, transport them to their places, their various destinations. People still at the bus stop stranded, many, 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 in their hundreds at the bus stop stranded. But we had. Um, this assurance from the N NPC last two weeks that uh, the fuel queues will go down. What is happening? There is scarcity of fuel in Lagos currently, as we're speaking. There's scarcity of fuel in Lagos. Not a good way to start the week. Not a good way to start the week. A big welcome to everyone that is online this morning. Welcome to the program to bystanders at the newsstands. I uh, have my committed analysts here this morning. They are here to do justice to the newspaper headlines. Uh, I am Christian Chiku. I want to say uh, subscribe to Flip TV and also Flip TV Plus so that you can uh, have uh, uh, get uh, uh, be part of the wonderful things we're doing on Flip TV Plus and also Flip TV. If you have click subscribe, subscribe, and also click on the notification button so that you can be part of the program. Let me look at uh, the early birds this morning that, uh, that has uh, uh, come online this morning. Let me look at those that are online this morning. Okay. I'm not seeing anybody. Let's go straight to newspaper headlines this morning. I have with me the Guardian newspaper, the Guardian newspaper. I have the Guardian with me. I also do have the, the Vanguard, the Guardian and the Vanguard this morning. The Guardian and the Vanguard. What uh, do the reports have for us this morning? What does the Guardian has for us this morning? What I just said this morning, for scarcity was since as an NPC. Uh, fails on demand and promises. Well, scarcity was in scarcity for the bus stop. As NNPC fail on demand and promises, uh, almost a month after scarcity of premium motor spirit through the country into energy crisis, education emerged uh, yesterday that the situation may go from bad to worse as prices at the pump rose to over 300 naira per liter in some filling stations um, across the country, especially those owned by independent marketers are they not slowly uh, going into the subsidy removal uh, uh, scheme are they not slowly wanting to remove the sub subsidy when you go to the petrol station uh, especially with those owned by independent marketers uh, let's look at other stories uh, well there's a picture here where you find Q, 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 or at the uh, filling station. Q at the station. It's unfortunate that a country that is rich in oil, that produces oil, would uh, be uh, looking for the oil that it produces. Be looking for the oil that it produces. Okay, let's go. Uh, Russia, Ukraine war, Putin puts nuclear uh, deterrent on special alert. Putin. Uh, Put his nuclear uh, uh, officials on alert uh, as uh, the world uh, slaps sanctions on Russia. Let's go to other stories. Uh, right before June 2023, says concession and commission. Despite assents, and Nigerians still losing sleep over electoral act. Despite assents, Nigerians still losing sleep over electoral act. You can read that up on, on, the, on the bank and the Guardian is this morning, page three of the Guardian newspaper this morning. O only 8 million 145,416 Nigerians are fully vaccinated against COVID 19. Only 8 million 145,416 Nigerians are, are fully vaccinated against COVID 19. That is according to. Reports out. Uh, yeah, okay, let's go to uh, another story. Let's go over to the Vanguard newspaper. Russia Ukraine war, top of the masthead. Russia Ukraine war, Romania, Hungary, Poland, offer fleeing Nigerians free visa. Romania, Hungary, Poland, offer fleeing Nigerians free visa. As Putin toys with nuclear warhead, as Putin toys with nuclear. Warhead. The nuclear 
Mbappe is currently on a lot. Uh, I don't know what Putin wants to do with that nuclear a lot. Okay, set lot energy set to acquire mobile producing assets in Nigeria. Set lot energy set to acquire mobile producing uh, assets in Nigeria. Government kill monarchs, which one others kidnaps calls in Kaduna, Benue, and Nigeria. Uh, concurrent news that we always support. Government kill uh, monarch, 21 others kidnap scores in Kaduna, Benue, and uh, Nigeria State. M. L. Kanu, F. is face of the pins. M. L. Kanu delayed for one hour. His flight was delayed and he's has he having a face of uh, F. is management. Okay. But well, petrol scarcity persists in Abuja, Lagos, other areas, despite assurances. Petrol, petrol, petrol scarcity persists in Abuja, Lagos, and other areas, despite assurances. 309 police are currently in some of the independent marketers. Okay, raid on Lagos Island, NDLEA begins manhunt for party boys and drug barons. NDLEA begins manhunt for drug barons in Lagos Island. Think of this, uh, we have over 5,000 people stranded in Ukraine, but over 1.2 million people in IDP camps in Think of that. Over 5,000 people stranded in Ukraine, and in Nigeria we have 1.2 million in the country in IDP camps. How is that? Uh, good morning, our viewers. Good morning. Our viewers all over the world. Yeah, uh, looking fresh this morning. My brother, I'm not looking fresh. Yeah, the weekend, the weekend went let me, well. Let me you also, look like a politician. Let me also invite the viewers all over the world. My wedding is coming. My traditional marriage is coming on the 18th of next month. So everybody is highly invited. 5,000 people stranded, Nigerians stranded in Ukraine. But in Nigeria, we have one point, over 1.2 million people in IDP camps in Nigeria. How do you look at that? It's quite funny, it's quite funny, it's quite funny. Uh, first and foremost, I must have to send my deepest condolence to most of our brothers. Condolence? I said, yes, it's a, it's a form of condolence because a lot of people have lost their lives. I have a brother in Agege who was just crying as of yesterday that he lost his, his sister, who was who just traveled to Ukraine to study. Okay. But in all ramifications, we thank God for everything. Number one is the, we are not happy with whatever that is happening in Ukraine, but I'm praying that the Almighty God will continue to save our people. Nothing will happen to Nigerians all over Ukraine. Even in Russia, nothing will happen to them. Because what is happening is disheartening. You cannot you cannot travel to a man's another person's land simply because you want to achieve or you want to meet up with your family standard and demands, and at a point you are stranded in that particular place. Sometimes you look at it as if it's better for you to be stranded in your father's land than be stranded in another person's land. Okay, because if you are in Ukraine, mm. you prefer to be stranded in Nigeria. My brother, you know, if, be you if, if, if we are talking in terms of war, in terms of a war like this, this is a very, very serious war. My brother, it's better for you to come to your father's land than be stranded in another person's land. Some there are I know, you. I know, even if they are happy, some of them are, some of them are in the refugee camp, some of them are very, very well taken care of. But my brother, war. If we have experienced war before, Do you know I... that you, you 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 stayed in the north. Do you yes. know that some people are in IDP camps. They are Nigerians. I know. They are in IDP I camps. Know. In Nigeria. I, I know. I know. I, I stayed in the north. But we, I, I, I'm talking about the Ukrainian government now. When I was in the north, when I was in the north, I was opportune to be engulfed in a crisis in Plateau State. That was in Jaws. That was around 2008, 2009, even 2010. Then you'll be asking yourself, what brought you to this particular place? It's better for you to even die in your father's land. I know sometimes it's just things like that shouldn't have come in existence, but my brother, it's never a welcome idea that you travel to another person's land and at the point you are stranded. Do you know that most of our Nigerians, most of our ladies, and most of the people that travel to Ukraine, most of them go there on study purposes or study leaves okay. on purposes. I have a lot of people from Agege here. Like I'm telling you, yesterday we were watching Chelsea. Liverpool match. Uh, oh, too bad for Chelsea. So, you know, the Chelsea, Chelsea uh, Abramovic uh, is no more handling Chelsea. Yeah, for now. Because of yeah, the Russian... That's a, ban, that's a ban on him, yeah. for now. Now, when we were watching the match between Chelsea and Liverpool, a guy came out and he was like crying that his sister, one of his sisters had been shot there. She was affected. So definitely that was why I was saying the condolence to most of these, so many Nigerians.
that lost their life. But I believe that from today onward, no Nigerian will ever lose his life, either in Ukraine or in Russia. What makes you believe so? Because I believe the God we are serving will always protect the Nigerians there. Okay, the one that, have, that, uh, that died. Uh, let's say, God we are let's, serving let's, say, let's say that is faith for them for now. Are you okay. getting me? It's not that they are not serving the same God with us. But what I'm saying is that the death is over. Nobody will die. No, no any Nigerian will ever lose his life in Ukraine because. You did not go there with an interior motive. You went there just to, just to meet up with your needs because you want to better the life of your family. So I pray that nothing will happen to Nigerian citizens there. Okay, uh, Petro, you see Petro scarcity everywhere. People are still stranded. Well, uh, you have many people at the bus stop. Well, that, 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 is, that is the kind of Nigeria we are into in a situation whereby you are one of the oil, largest oil producer in Nigeria, in the world, if I'm not mistaken, the sixth largest oil producer in the country, in the world. And now, look at what is happening. Do you know that a lot of people have just lost their job because they cannot meet up, they cannot meet up with the time factor just happiness even to themselves. A, a, an employer, an employer that knows that this is the situation on ground, at a point he will look at you as if you are purposely doing what you are doing simply because you don't want to meet up with time. Let's, um, let me ask you this question. You just you were just employed this month. You are working at uh, a place like Island. When you're working at a place like Island and you started a job today, you resume as earlier as possible, 7 30. The next day, you resume, they said later you should resume your place in the place of work is 7 30. Now, the next day you resume 8 o'clock. Mm. The next upper day again, you resume 9 o'clock. Before you know what is happening, your appointment will be terminated because that is the look at you as if you are. The next thing they will tell you that is you go and look for a house very close to where you are working. Okay. That is one thing. So, most of them, they put the um, I sometimes I pity most of this passenger is not is disheartening. If you see the way they are trekking from Agege, a lot of people are trekking all the way from Agege to even Becca here, just to make sure that they meet up with their in, the, in, the, in their various places of work. You will pity Nigerians, a country whereby most of these oil were not supposed to be a problem to us. A country whereby, in terms of the transportation issue, and we have things that can fix these things around. I was listening over to the radio this morning. Uh, they, they, they were saying, the federal government were saying that they should go and meet most of the people that are selling oil, not at the price of a government price, that they will be arrested. That is not what should be put, that is not the argument that government, federal government should be putting in place for now. What you should be putting in place, sir? How do you make oil, uh, fuel available for so-called Nigerians? Look at look at the way people are stranded. A lot of them are not even happy because they are thinking that they could go to work and at the point they will be fired. Are you getting me? So and it's a place, it's a, it's a country whereby you have a lot of oil that can fix most of these people on ground. Now, look at like I said, you are you just you, just, you are just employed to start work. Just this month, now at the point when you started work, you resume late today, you resume late tomorrow, and you are telling me that your boss will understand. The next thing the boss will tell you that you stayed at a, in VI, sorry, you work at VI and you stay at Agege. Why not go to VI and rent a house there? Most of this employer, they will not uh, em, uh, employer, they will not understand what most of these people are passing through. Most of them they, are, they have access to their personal cars. You can you can you can't even boast of your car. You can't even boast of ordinary bike that you can even transport yourself from here to that particular place now at the point what will happen the next thing you do is a, is a national appointment and they'll just terminate your appointment mm. so these are the costs the federal government were saying that they should arrest anybody that's not selling fuel at the at the appropriate price that, that has been given by federal government why not make provision for this oil to be almost everywhere if fuels are everywhere they are not they are not in, there's, there's not, nothing like artificial scarcity will be caused by most of these marketers because do you know that most of these marketers, they will have a little. They will not hide it because they want to cause what you call artificial scarcity. Because they want to make money, excess money, through the little ones they have. So it's not their fault. Okay, opposition thinking as Jonathan weighs option for 2020. For now, for now, all these ones, uh, all these ones, uh, like my brother will always say, these are people, they are just making noise. Which time we know who is serious and who is not serious. For now, they are just gallivanting. 
running around the streets. Uh, tomorrow, if you are, if you are not taking somebody from your street, you will say, come on, I want to contest, I want to become the president of this country. For now, there are just people going to us all around, begging Baba, I want to become this, I want to be for now. We have not seen a very serious candidate that is coming out for now. As he stands, as he stands, if somebody should come out and ask you, are you sure that somebody like Arabi Musa Gwankosa is coming out? You say you have something like that, that he has declared himself that he wants to run for the presidency of this country. If somebody should ask you again, they will say, Jonathan, tomorrow again, tomorrow again, what is the name of this man that owns this latter? Uh, Bakari. Tumare again, you heard that Tunde Bakari has been given a, a, a PDP mandate, a PDP ticket to run for the presidency of this country. For now, I'm not taking anybody serious because the ticket, as it stands now, the election is, yes, the election is around the corner, but as it stands now, most of the people that are there, they are just running their mouth. Knowing not what, uh, you know, uh, they don't even know what they are saying as it stands now because most of them are just trying to create problems. I know that a lot of people will argue with me there that a lot of them, when I say popularity, I know that a lot of them are created that popularity, but there's also another different means of creating popularity again. Maybe you have run, you have fight for the president of the country, and then maybe people know who you are. At the point, you want to come out again and start telling the whole world that you want to become the president of this country. Okay. My brother, they are just running mad. As it stands now, we don't have a candidate until the time comes. I will tell you that, yes, we have like five to six candidates, but as it stands now, they are just time wasting. I'm going to take it easy because uh, the atmosphere of Nigeria is not settled. Anyway, my name is Rocky Ayagun. I don't know Lagos. You can see Russian. You can see how Nigerians are Russian. You can see old men, young men. See the way they are. Oh my God, this country. Look, look, look. Just look. Look now. Look at now. A whole Nigeria that is producing giant, giant oil. Giant of Africa. Look how they are Russian boss. Tuke Tuke boss. Tuke Tuke. Nigeria, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. My brother, we're in trouble. Yeah, good money. My brothers and sisters who are watching me, may God bless you. Most in Taiwo and all that the rest. If I don't know your name, pardon me. Taiwo, are you there? May God bless you. Okay. Now, good money. What's happening to Putin? Putin. Putin. I think. Uh, the world should take it easy. There is this nuclear weapon on alert. Uh, I had that yesterday. For me, I think, uh, according to what I watched this morning, the analysts, that they want to talk between the Ukraine and the official of uh, Russia. Because the reason that the people of Russia are not backing the president up. So, for me, I would like them to talk because of uh, all this uh, nuclear, whatever they call. But now, I believe the world are not sleeping. The world should not sleep. They should make sure either they collect that thing from them or they take it easy so that we don't want to smell anything. But we're already facing COVID. So I believe for me, put it to put back. I love peace to rain. Just like the way the Pope are singing, crying, weeping. The world has to have peace. And I want peace. When there is peace, that's where everybody live, Survive. If there's no peace, you see how you can I run this getter. I don't know I mean. People who have houses are not living in under the bridge in uh, Poland. So for me, I need peace. But Putin should know that he does not more than two words. He just only is single. So why why, why, why are people blaming Putin? Why are people why why they are blaming Putin? I know Putin is modern in everything modern in Ukraine. But why don't you sit down? And allow the West or the NATO or the Europe 
you discuss about that issue. Not taking lot to hand in to another man country. I don't me. So that is why the whole world are blaming him. But this time around, we don't need war. That's why the country, the whole country are not supporting Ukraine. There are two countries in Ukraine that want to, two regions that want to break out. Ukraine is not giving them independence. I know those people have rights, but something happened. And they called on Russia to their defense. And they need to, let me tell you, they need to sit down and discuss it, whether they are really going or they are not going. It's just like uh, the Brapa and the Nigeria. And I said, Brapa said they are going, and Nigeria said no. But I've not seen any country that is backing any one of them. I don't know I mean. I've not seen anyone like the way Russia is back in uh, the other country. So I think because why, Russia. Why are the West closing their eyes to what's happening in Niger with Nigeria and Biafra? But they are always attacking, they are attacking Russia, the Soviet Union, SS, USSR. The, the reason is that, let me tell you, the reason is that the West don't have anything to gain in uh, Biafra. I think they don't, they see they don't have anything to gain there. If they have anything to gain there, they will instigate the black people. They will come up and instigate them against Nigeria. So they feel they don't have anything to gain there. And again, and again, let me tell you, if another thing I think again, if you check all over Nigeria, people dominate for so many markets. So many places, houses. Is it, is, is it only Nigeria? I'm not but doing Nigeria now. I'm talking about Nigeria now, particularly. Mm. If you go to Lagos State, half of Lagos dominated by Igbos. Are you getting me? No. I'll give you an example. Yeah. Let me give. Yeah. Let me give an example. Go to Rile. Go to Rile. Yes, okay. Go to Rile. Go to Fesa. Go to Maitu. Go to even half of. Go to Mushina. Igbo have dominated everywhere. Go to Kaja everywhere. Go to uh, uh, Kaja everywhere. So anyway, you buy Yoruba, buy Ibo. So it's very difficult for us to just separate like that. I will tell you like, I know they want to go, but very difficult. Any day all of them unite, something will happen. So okay, they, Russia, they are not united yet. No, 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 no. Because some of them are saying they want to remain in Lagos. They want to do their business. Some of them are saying, come back home. Any day, any day, just like the way sometimes when we have a festival Christmas time, see all the evils, most of them went home, Lagos will dry. So if they do that a week, that's why I'll know that evil is serious. Okay, let's look at um, 23 opposition tickets as Jonathan weighs his options. For me, for me, the northerner are taking who to give that present is out. We have uh, Tinubu now. Tinubu is somebody that is. They do not trust Tinubu. They, they, are, they want to play him the way they play Abiola. They want to play Tinubu the way they play Abiola. They don't really trust him 100%. Mm. I don't say me. Mean. Now, so what they, they are looking for somebody who will handle that team for four years mm. and give it to the back, to the north, which they look around and say, Jonathan, they are trying to persuade him to come to APC. Mm. But politicians, they are showers. They yeah, don't trust them. Don't be surprised tomorrow. Jonathan will move to APC. I tell you that. I want. I love this country. I want to make sure this country remains intact. That's why I'm here. Don't be surprised tomorrow. I don't trust any politicians. I don't have me. So I saw Jonathan's name. I saw article name. I saw Tunubu's name. But what I need now is, first of all, we are suffering under APC. We are suffering under APC. Why? No fear. Nothing you can post of it now. I told you what they are saying now. I told you about election 2023. I don't know I mean. We have not solved the problem of fear. Look at that. See, I fight strongly. But our government deceive us. APC deceive us. They said they said the, they deceive us. They said they, they are going to resolve the whole issue. When when but when now, you can see now we have got to a month now. Almost a month now. They deceive, when they want to increase fuel, they told her that uh, they want to increase fuel. They did not disagree. I don't have me. After disagreement, now they not bring issue of uh, fuel. Uh, fuel is bad. Fuel is bad. Today, 
they are going to resolve it for a week. Now we almost got to a month now. They are looking for a way to increase it to 300 or 400. Already people are already buying it 300, 250, 200. The little money people save. They have squatted it. What is happening to Nigeria? Why can't Nigeria speak out? Like, as I said now, you can see how they are struggling very cool. But I'm here speaking my own protest and my mind to Nigerians. Other people, look at them. They are here making noise, discussing about football. Russia, instead of trying to discuss the particular problem of we, that evil in uh, Ukraine, Nigeria that is there holding passport, I see them when they are about to enter train, see how they are skinning them after looking passport. So we are not being respected. Even Ghana here, come on Ghana. Ghana do respect us. South Africa do respect us. Where are we? We have no problem in Nigeria. Instead of thinking how the world will not share what they are saying in 2023, get with 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 Ukraine produce with that is going to affect black. Yes, but Nigeria people are not discussing that one now. How oh, what they are discussing now? Football that Chelsea play yesterday, uh, political. Who oh, will become the president? How I'm going to induce people no instead of them to discuss what China, Ukraine or Russia will not affect us here. Is and definitely they will affect us. Right? This fuel now, instead of us to be producing fuel here, we are going to import. And the sea are in trouble now. Many ships will stock in ship to come to Nigeria to bring our imported fuel. So we are going to increase, we are going to have a problem. Before we start by the problem, no, we have the problem is there already. You can see how people are struggling for bus. Okay, where are the transport coming from? Tomorrow they will tell you we bring one million naira, one million buses, one million cars. Where are they? Not we are still where we are. Nigeria is not moving forward. We are not going back. We are stuck. So that's my anger. Okay. That's my anger. Thank you very much. So my brother and sister, please, please, go to come down and give us a better leader. Thank you very much. My name is Lucky Ayagbuna. I just want to make common sense. Okay. My name is uh, Lucky Ayagbuna. I just want to make common sense. Uh, I remember that statement somewhere. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, let's talk about how the Ukraine-Russian crisis is going to affect Nigeria. Over $1 and $3 per barrel, how will it affect Nigeria? It will affect, thank you for having me, Matthew is the name. It will affect Nigeria in the area of getting refined products. Like, we can understand that even currently, getting cargoes, conveying refined products that is destined for Nigeria, are finally difficult to get through and come to Nigeria. So, invariably, it's going to affect supply chain of, of refined PMS in Nigeria. And that is going to cause economic crisis in Nigeria. So, I think what Nigeria government should do, because we don't know how long it will last, is to quickly look at how they can give attention to other areas of the world in terms of getting refined products. But where it stands, I can understand that the way NMPC does it is they give contracts to some companies who import on their behalf. They will give them crude. Then those companies will bring refined products in commercial with the crude they are getting. But no matter what happens, what we are seeing now is like a natural disaster. There's what they call first mature in business, especially in the oil and gas sector. When you have when you have a, a natural disaster, agreements are suspended, and the, the person who is defaulting is not seen to have committed any crime no, like because it. of uh, that first mature. I think such situation should play out where NMPC needed to renew some of the contract they have with all, all these uh, companies who are important on behalf of NMPC to supply Nigeria so that they can look elsewhere, areas where they can easily navigate the waters to Nigeria to get out of my products. Because we cannot continue like, waiting. If it's hundred dollars, if we're refining ourselves, no, what I'm saying is if it is, if the price is increasing, naturally, 
the money federal government is paying to subsidize the project here will increase. But that is not the only challenge. If that is the only challenge, we would have lived with it and see how much we spend before this uh, situation is stabilized. But we stand another risk of not getting the refined products from those areas to Nigeria because of the crisis in that Ukraine. So in, to that extent, it will make sense for NMPC through those companies that is important on their behalf to look towards other areas where they can renegotiate the agreement they have at the issue so that we can have refined products. Because we cannot continue waiting until the situation stabilized before we start having refined products here. Otherwise, our, our economy would have crumbled before then. What I'm saying is that if we were refining our products ourselves, we would have made more money. Definitely, if we are refining, we would have made more money, one. And secondly, we will not be caught in this web of the crisis that is happening in Europe. Because naturally, we are refining. You have the raw material here, which is the food. You refine here. You distribute it. And it's only 100 and 3 dollars. We are making much more. Uh, that is the price of crude at the international market. Don't forget that once the price of crude, no, even currently, what we say in terms of crude will make more money. There's no argument about that. But we are looking at the areas that are affecting us, our economy. The way it stands, we are about to make money. Because anything that affects the price of food at the international market, we give up more money in the pocket of the grand trade. Because it's a function of international markets. Okay. We do not control the markets yet. But that's not the area I'm looking at. I'm looking at how the effect is having on our economy. If we are running here, who can find the situation in Ukraine will not affect our economy in terms of getting a bank product. But where it stands, we are going to be affected. We are already been affected. And the best thing to do is for the government to NMPC to look for alternative means of supply. That is it. I see. Okay, let, let, we have a petrol scarcity persisting. Despite assurances, you said it. That uh, is going to subside, but yes. uh, the reason is not subsiding. The reason is continuing is the reason we have explained it. Because if a, a, a vessel, a tanker vessel that have loaded that is supposed to come to Nigeria is being intercepted or is not having its way to Nigeria, definitely that consignment cannot get here and the tank one that is waiting to be supplied to be short of the product mm. and in the turn in turn mm. the filling station will not get it and the end users which is the trans um, yes the transporters will not get it and it will affect it will trickle down to every sector of the economy mm. everybody will be affected okay let's look at also um emi afkano and f is uh, the crisis uh... um for me I think that area is sensitive. Why I say sensitive is I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want people to start making comments that we aggravate or that we increase the crisis. I say sensitive is because of the nature of Nigeria. You can understand the comment coming from the palace, uh, Emir's palace, trying to trap the whole kind of people into it. And this is an issue that they would have resolved without coming to the public. So it is sensitive because it is it, it has a potential of igniting ethnic crisis. So I will not encourage people to ventilate it in the public. Rather, air peace and the uh, Emir of Pal uh, sorry, Kano Emirates should liaise and see how they resolve it, rather than dragging it in the public. It's not as if I do not know what to say. I restrain myself from saying one or two things because of the sensitivity of, the, of it. Because if there's a crisis in Nigeria, it, know, it doesn't know religion, it doesn't know tribe, it doesn't know it can consume anybody. So, such thing is a recipe for crisis, and it should be nipped in the pot. Especially where you already seen the spokesman of an emirate, a popular emirate for that instance in the north, as popular as Kano, speaking in that manner, you should know that such things should be resolved amicably. A de escalation uh, is what so, you be so, seeking. Such things are really, really, really giving us problems. A uh, de escalation really of it right. is what you should be seeking. Yeah. Not for me, for me, I will not stand here to start apportioning blame. What I will encourage both airpiece because it's a reputable airline. Why I call it air peace 
and the um, uh, Kano Emirates to do is to serve the American, American people. Whether we like it or not, LPs have been doing business in Kano, and they hope to continue doing business in Kano. I don't think they want to stop doing business in Kano. And the Emirates have what it takes to um, inside the people of the of Kano and even the northern region against the airline. I don't want to go into all that. I want to restrain myself from going into all that. What I want to say is let the let Kano Emirates and Epis settle it amicably. They should not drag Nigerian society into it. Okay, let's look at uh, uh, Ukraine, uh, Russia. Putin has uh, put on alert. It's a nuclear warhead. That will be my area of concern. Because if you look at the impact of the usage of atomic bomb to end the Second World War, I'm talking about Hiroshima and Madagascar. The impact is still ravaging that environment, current, even up to now. So, and if you look at why the world has been wary of how they handle Russia is because of that atomic bomb at their disposal. So, for me, a de escalation of the whole issue is what is necessary. I do not see the world leaders directly attacking Russia. I think the world is equally aware of the potential threats and the consequences, as, as you rightly put it. For me, coming out against Russia is enormous. And if Putin could, at the point, accept negotiation with uh, Ukraine, a situation, a country he hitherto refused to even pick the call coming from Ukrainian um, president. Ukrainian president at the time was going through uh, France uh, president to reach Russian president, I mean Putin. So going to start accepting a negotiation, I think it has got to a stage where I realize that it is not as easy as it thought. To be quite honest with you, I think the reason the whole world is against Putin and Russia is because of your necessary ways of life. But for me, Putin and Russia would have, would have exploited all diplomatic means of resolution, conflict resolution, before going into that bombing. But whether we like it or not, a human, we don't have what it takes to create life. Any life you take, you keep today, we don't have what it takes to bring that person back to life. Okay. So why rushing into that war? Why, why rushing into bombing? It was unnecessary rushing into that bombing. They would have rather explore all diplomatic means to see how to resolve it. Now, whether we like it or not, it will still end on a round table. So that round table is what we needed at the initial. That round table that they avoided, Russia avoided initially, they will be made to come back to that round table. And how can you quantify, how can you justify the lives that have been wasted? At the point, Ukraine, like two, three days ago, said that um, Russia have lost about 2,000 800 uh, soldiers. You see the monumental ways of life. I don't know, I cannot, I cannot ascertain the veracity of that claim. But wherever I look at it, it is it, it, it is logical to say Russia has lost some soldiers, Ukraine is equally losing soldiers. So, how can you justify that way of life? Then the potential threat of using nuclear weapon, atomic bomb, has always been my concern and the concern of the world. That is why I think the world leaders have been tactical, they have been diplomatic, they have been using, seeing how best to handle the situation in order. Because if you look at it, at the end of the day, if Russia is pushed to the war by way of being attacked by all the world leaders, all the uh, leading nations of the world, they may be frustrated to the point of using atomic bombs. And if that happens, it's going to be catastrophic. But I don't see it getting to that level. Because the world is wary. Yes, yeah, the world is wary of that situation. Yeah, the yeah, world is sanctioning uh, Russia from Sweden. I don't think the sanction is what will cause Russia to use it. What will cause them to use it is if there is coordinated attack from world um, leading world countries. And I don't see leading world countries doing that. Rather, they want to use uh, sanction to bring Putin to the negotiating table. That's what I see. Okay, let's look at uh, Nigeria stranded in uh, Ukraine. And in comparison to 1.2 million people in IDP camps in Nigeria. Uh, you see, it's unfortunate that Nigerian government don't usually act as a country. 
we had a window of opportunity to evacuate Nigerians, especially the students. If you have about 5,600 students in Ukraine, it's a, it's, a, it's a good number that the government should have been proactive in terms of evacuating them. Because America did not hide it. America was very focused in their pro pro proclamation that Russia would definitely attack <laughs> And that the authorities stop Nigerian made students and only allow the students to make their way to Poly border. So there's a, a speculation that if there's need for them to enlist more people into fighting, perhaps there is a shortage of manpower, that those Nigerian students may be enlisted into fighting. So I think Nigerian government needed to start a diplomatic talk with whether Ukraine. Poland and all those neighboring countries that border um, no, no, no. Yeah, free visa, free visa. to see how best they can start evacuating. Romania, Hungary, Poland, of our free, uh, free Nigerian free visa. Uh, what I'm saying is Nigerians that are, that are currently trapped in Ukraine, like I just talked about um, some persons being denied access to the border because they are being students. So there's a speculation that the authorities there may be thinking with the idea of enlisting them into the military for the purpose of fighting in case there is a shortage of manpower. So is it really a worrisome situation that our government needs to be switched in address? So, say brother, Lele. say brother, let me tell them, this one now, say brother, they don't use say baba, that so, no work, they won't use say brother. Um, yes, what is your problem? Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. What is your problem? Let's go, what is your problem? Okay, let's look at the uh, last week. People are blaming, uh, people are saying Russia has a reason to evade uh, Ukraine. There's a reason. I'm not saying they don't, they don't have a reason. But the, what people are saying is the invasion justifiable? Is it, are they justified? The justification we are looking at is in relation to the waste of life, the loss of life. The justification we are looking at is have they exploited all avenues of diplomatic talk? I don't think so. Because constant demand that they would have exploited all means of diplomat, dip, uh, diplomacy. And if all the means of diplomacy face, the whole world would not have come against Russia. Because the whole world were prevailing on Russia not to invade Ukraine, not to launch attack. So for me, the attack was unnecessary. Okay. Not that they don't have a reason. If they don't have a reason, they will not go after them in the first place. But the issue is, was the reason, is the attack justified?
because their reason is why perhaps they do not want Ukraine to join NATO. There's an avenue to negotiate that. Other thing is the two nations, countries that want to break out from Ukraine, which they have already entered into a treaty with to aid militarily to achieve it. There's another room for negotiation. Don't forget that even the Ukrainian president was calling Putin for negotiation. He was not even picking his call. At the point, he needed to go through France, the French president. I'm talking about Macron. So it tells you that he he turned down avenues of negotiation and I didn't explore all diplomatic means to of company resolution before going into that war. So for me, he was a and it was avoidable. Thank, Thank you very much. Mr. Akule, good morning, Mr. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, my brother. Good day. You are, you are just, uh, you are getting... I'm getting... Look at the road. We need to build the road, though. There's serious problem. for us as people are started. Resolve, this, uh, resolve what? Ukraine that supply us oil. No, we bring you, our you oil. Yes, currently now. Majority of the oil we are using now, we import them from Ukraine. Ukraine, Ukraine is under attack now. You can see the trash, the problem. Yeah, it's not the fault of the It's whose fault then? I will, it's not, are they not supposed to repair the refinery? Are they not supposed to fix up the refinery? And now you've been telling me one government is better than the other. This government is better. All of them, which one repair the refinery? Which is bouncing back on. It's all about money they dish out to you. It's all about economic policy they put on ground. Why? The vision, so, 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 Nigeria will be all sufficient to so, 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 yes. None of them do that because they derive the benefit from all this importation of oil. Right? Now that it's $103, we shall be any more. We yeah, be any yeah, more there's than oil boom now. Yeah, serious oil boom now. Losing, we are yeah, we are losing. We are losing because we, we don't have oil. refinery. We don't, we, we don't we have refinery. It's not working. It's not working. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I think we had a refinery and oil and we do. You, you be we surprised have more money. You'll be surprised that we'll be going to Angola, and which Angola is going to take over the, the sixth largest producer of oil. That position, Angola is going to take it over from us any moment from now. Because Angola has enough crude, very good crude as well as Nigeria now. So I don't know who costs this country. I don't know the cost that they place on this country. And it's affecting all the citizens. Okay, it's we, affecting all the we human cannot hold any, We cannot hold anybody responsible. We cannot hold anybody responsible. We, 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 then we, 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 who, who do you hold responsible now? We, we still hold the people we hold that see within, they, they are within us. We are they within ourselves. The evil that we, is tormenting this country is within Nigeria. It's not from outside now. So it's well, Nigeria. it's within Nigeria. The evil and there are some outside that they don't. You see, like uh, Oris, uh, Oribo, Osaribo, or what's that guy called? That guy should be an evil. That but truth, he doesn't like truth. He doesn't know truth. So some people cannot be trusted. You know. Okay. Now, Petroska still persists in Abuja, Lagos, other areas, despite assurances uh, from the federal government. And, and those people that um, brought in the bad well have not been brought to book. We are still on that case. Nobody has been arrested and persecuted. You see, I've been saying this. When you come here, you talk. So I'm around and say, no, you don't call them money. You don't call them pampa. I tell you, these boys are the best boys, all these suppliers. They are the pet boys. These are the guys that are feeding land on subsidies. These are the guys. And it's not today it started. They've been government pet errand boys for long. So they are just inheriting them, inheriting them one by one. Inheriting them one by one. When this government comes in, oh, let us use the, they know the terrain. They know the terrain better. They know what is going on. Let us absorb, I mean, accommodate them into our government. No money has no enemy. No, sure you know. Money has friends. Money has friends. A lot of friends. No enemy. These guys are boxed up. When you talk of MRS, when you talk of Orlando, Orlando, when you talk of Britannia, Britannia, you. When you talk of all this company, they are awarded this country. They be collecting this contract from federal government. And the funniest thing is, they cut across the six regional. You know, the owner of this oil, this thing, depot. They cut across the regional system of Nigeria. You have the southeast, you have the southwest, you have the uh, south south, you have the northeast, north central, north you know, all of them are there like that. 
the MRS, they will handle the Bustana U, the what's it called? They are all corporates, but who can bring them to book? Because you wine and dine with them. If you bring them to book, they will open paper, they will expose the yash of the government. In power, we have, we have the Abakari case now. It's uh, nobody's talking about it. Abakari, nobody's talking about it. Abakari is even pleading. The funniest thing is pleading for freedom to regain his freedom. He has approached the uh, court for him to be granted bail. For you, this Abakari, you lock people up in custody for years, for months without bail. And every every suspect has a right to prove himself until he's been proved guilty, until court prove him guilty. You don't just take decision on your own that this guy is guilty. You send him to prison, uh, jail, or you lock him out for a while without bail. He has a right to bail. Right? He, every offense has a right. But now he's begging. He's, he's begging. Uh, he's begging. But they're not begging him to when he was locking people up. Nemesis. You see, that's why I always tell people, what go comes around, what goes the what comes around goes. I mean, what goes around comes around. The judgment, the bad judgment you give to people, we always turn to one day. We always turn to. We should learn our lesson for the past experience of the mighty people that have been in power that they brought down to the ashes. Look at the IC AFCC for my was detained yeah. the end the his end wasn't so okay because a lot of people were framed up a lot of there was political you know who went in, in that indictment who there went, was political indictment who went to jail who went to jail in Magus case in Magus case he, he sent a lot to jail Magus sent a lot to jail he sent no let's give it to you see the trial that is going on under this administration right they are carryover trials which were supposed to have been sentenced under the previous administration. A lot of people, let me tell you, there's every corruption. There's every corruption under this administration. There was every corruption under last administration. But this one is getting more worse because of stupid statements. They said, if you're a sinner, if you're a corrupt element, once you cross to APC, so we have all, APC now is the headquarter of the corrupt Nigerians. Corrupt politician. It's the same heaven for all the when you talk, people will say be our ideological party followers. When your party is wrong, you tell them the whole truth. The party is not doing well. We are not blind followers. And anybody that attacks me should come out and face me one on one. Any party you've been supporting, were they all right? You come out to tell them the truth. Right? That's just the ideology. Okay. You might not just come on the camera, ah, this one is good, ah, this one is bad, that one is, this one is bad. Which one is all of them if they are being good? Your life will still remain like the, your life will be the one that is good to you. You are saying economy, uh, economy was so, 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 so. Economy, if your own economy is really good in their time, you will still, God, you, God will still sustain you to be making, that is not fetish money. For all these citizens you are saying, the brain is not more there. The poverty has eaten him too deep into the brain. People don't think. And they now use the they use the coloration, the ethnic coloration, religious. to religious, to blind everybody. They turn every citizen, every youth, now to uh, by ethnic by God. Clap your hands. Raise your hand. I, 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 ethnic. Okay. Ethnic by God. Let me have Kano and Epis. You read that story? Let me have Kano and Epis. No, she's saying something. Can you? Hey, I said clap your hands. Let's get on now. Let's talk about it. Yes, what they're saying about religion. Let's talk about it. 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 You read that story? Yeah, I heard the story. Uh, Ado, Ado, Bayero. Yeah. That's the junior brother mm. of the Emmy of Kano. He has to alert. He came down to, uh, he called Mr. What's it called? Oyema. Oyema. The owner of uh, Oscar Oyema. Mm. That, uh, the, the Emir is coming from Banju mm. through Epis airline, mm. but there was a delay. So if you can likewise delay the plane that is already booked, fill up that was a bad that was taxing, taxing on, on on runway already. That they should delay it for one single Emir to board. So you delay almost 300 people. Let's even assume the plane is not fully loaded. 
you delay almost 150 people because of one single man that is not even the president, that is not the, it's just a name in the territory called uh, Kano, the, the Northern Territory. My brother, that is why I said this country, let everybody sit down, referend, uh, referendum, and the last option, let everybody go their separate way. Regional system of government so that they can be across the river, across the can And say, my brother, I'm coming to your zone. Prepare for me. No. Oh, my brother, I'm coming to your zone. Prepare for me. No. This Nigeria are not work and it will, can never last work. Me, last me. Immunity, life pension, continue president, anybody that is amending, proposing that should be stoned to death. Life pension. There's life pension for president already. Each president, former president of Nigeria, collect 14 million. 14 million. That was what Mr. Buhari and I, 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 I Hold him for a debate. When he said, How can president of Nigeria be collect on a salary of 40 million or was it monthly salary of 40 million? What have you been doing? We are retired already. So, what well, you remember? You remember? And they are still, that, you know, I mean, so the, the problem now is anybody that is proposing this thing, Nigeria should gather together and stone. If it is National Assembly, we should march to National Assembly. That's you are killing us. Who we match? The citizen. That, that's why the brain has to come together now. This is the right time we need to need to borrow ourselves brain. We forget coloration, ethnic coloration. We forget. Um, you want to bring him down? Or oh, this one is a Christian. Poverty, no, no color. Sure, you know. Hunger, no, no color. Either you are this or you are hunger, no, no tribal. Also, yeah, yeah. Also, and you united, you stand to fight a battle than divided, you fall okay. to lose a battle. Okay. okay. I don't think Nigerians will follow you and I'm um, much to. And they, they, that is where they continue. The suffering yeah, continues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The suffering continues. <laughs> they, they have been lacking leadership. There is leadership failure in this country from onset. That's what I'm saying. Thank you very much, Mr. Kule. Mr. Mr. Rap. Good morning. Good morning, good morning Mr. Rapp. Yeah, good morning, Christian. And uh, good morning. You know, I'm thanking all of you for watching every day. Some of you are about to sleep right away in the United States, but you make it you have made it a point of duty to listen. Let's look at the I I appreciate all of you. Putin has alerted his a nuclear weapon. Oh, if it does that good, if it does that good, I think they have over 9,000 uh, nuclear you know, sites in Russia. Uh, if he allows that, that's good. No, Putin himself is a, is a mortal. No, wait. Putin is a mortal being. He can die too. Don't you know the meaning of a nuclear weapon? Let me tell you. America discovered atomic bomb in 1945. Russia later on. Five, four days, four years later, in 1949, then America di discovered hydrogen bomb. Do you understand? Before Russia discovered the yes, invented it. Do you understand? So, both countries, US and the Russia, they have made names in scientific, in the scientific world or field. So, if he could use it, fine. He still dies. Putin can die. I, I didn't understand. He's a human being. Nobody's begging him. The whole world cannot just watch Putin, to understand, annihilate the whole Ukrainians. Uh, irrespective collateral damages, that is hurting the civilians. This man still persists, pumping and pounding cave. But let me tell you, he should have allotted these things now. To so hell with him and his nuclear weapon. This world must, was, must wait, be careful. Wait, must wait, be careful. wait, wait. This world you must be careful. Okay, listen, the earth, mm. the solar system. Mm. Eh? The universe was before invention of all these technological weapons. This world was. God was. So Putin is a mortal body. If he uses nuclear weapon on the earth, fine. Let us see if nothing will definitely annihilate everybody on the earth. It is not possible. As I'm talking to you now, 
over 27 countries are back in Ukraine. Britain has full military what back up eh, with the Ukraine directly. The first country to have offered military assistance to Ukraine are the Poles. That's Poland. Are you listening to me? So to hell with him and his nuclear weapon. That guy is rich, thinkingly rich. He is not done. I think understand with his wealth is now gone beyond that to the level of punishing fellow human. Ukraine, who are the Ukrainians? They are the same with Russians. Yes. I think understand one of the Russian federatives in the 1991 before they disassemble, you know, this uh, disintegration of former Soviet Union. So I don't see the reason why Putin should be playing God. Who are the Chechens? Chechens are the people he's using now as what Russian troop. Chechnya. Anybody from, that comes from Chechnya is a Chechen. Okay, Chechnyans were fighting Russia before because they felt that Russians are marginalizing them. Do you understand? So, to hell with him and his uh, nuclear weapon. He's, he's not God. Nobody can watch him, Putin. Putin is a, a mortal body. He can die tomorrow. Make him use it now. If you use nuclear weapon, everybody will watch. And he let them. Everybody will go. He will go. Russians. Russians, it will still affect them. I don't know what I understand. So, the NATO let US NATO allies. I think understand. They are waiting. Everybody is watching. Make him press one button. Yes. What kind of nonsense is that affecting Nigeria? Uh, oil from, uh, from Ukraine. Uh, it's affected. It's affected oil.
NATO, if they become a NATO member nation among the mem member nations of NATO, America is going to have what? Military base in Ukraine. That is one of the fear of, uh, you know, Russians. Mm. That is their fear. But it doesn't matter. If you are good, why are you afraid of America? Have you ever heard that America has just woken up one day and attacked a country, a country that has not attacked them? But Russia is just being afraid because Putin is a wicked man. Russia has never gotten it right since the inception of USSR. See, communism. Communism, is it good? It's not a good system of government. That's why Gorbachev and the Boris Yeltsin in the early 90s did what? Allow democracy to creep into USSR. That is Glasnost, Glasnost, Glasnost and the Perestroika. Yes, Glasnost and the Perestroika. Let us Google it. Mikhail Gorbachev and your, uh, Boris Yeltsin, they allow it. That was when the USSR Russians, the former Russians, do you understand? Started breathing air of peace. Communism is not good. I didn't understand. Government is in charge of everything. The economy, the transportation, every public corporation and institution.
sorry for that uh, long break. We are really having so much, so much uh, issues uh, for some of the things we uh, the instruments this morning, but we have resolved it. Thank you very much for being patient. Have Mr. Chigozi. Good morning, Mr. Chigozi. Like I said, let's talk about the Putin. The Putin uh, Uh, is a nuclear uh, weapon. It, it was built by their own uh, money, right? Yeah. So you, you can't detect for them when uh, and when not to do that. So it's part of their armory and the uh, sudanitan, of course. Uh, so it's, a, it's a threat. To, it's a threat to humanity. To humanity. Uh, if you send that uh, nuclear weapon, it's going to affect. Are, are you on? Are you not? Are you not on that threat now? Are you free? Even by being in, in Nigeria, I you think uh, you are working free. How sure are you that in the next uh, in the next few minutes that? Uh, you will not be overrun by uh, you, you support Boko uh, Haram or Minatia. Uh, nuclear, nuclear weapon. You support him releasing that nuclear weapon. Nuclear weapon was built by them, right? And the world watched them do that. So there's nothing wrong on, on that. And uh, is aware of, uh, uh, of course, uh, display of uh, their prowess uh, to the world. And uh, it's not the first time nuclear weapon is being used. The Hiroshima and Nagasaki is an example. But I think uh, for now it has been more, more of course, uh, sophisticated. So the fact that he allotted the nuclear uh, weapon does not imply that uh, he, he has used it. So you don't watch and, and see how things so unfold. What he has done in Ukraine is condemnable. So far, what the invasion of Ukraine is condemnable. Condemnable by you, right? Uh, nobody will want to support anything that will take the life of humanity or individuals. So, uh, the art of war, uh, such things are bound to happen. That's why we must, of course, uh, preach peace. And uh, in the preaching of peace, we must be uh, very uh, sincere and emphatic. You see, you don't preach peace in deception. You don't preach peace uh, in, in covering up. You see, America... Uh, do not practice what they preach. You see, I don't see any reason why uh, Ukraine should have, uh, I mean, moved against uh, Donetsk and the uh, Lonax. Haven't declared their freedom, and the referendum was conducted, and they declared their own sovereignty. Like what the same way they put out from Russia. So if America uh, claim to be the world, uh, the, the, the highest uh, uh, supporter of democracy and fundamental human rights, I think you sh they should have, of course, questioned the uh, Ukraine rather than backing them up. On what, of course, uh, we know as a, a suicidal mission. They shouldn't have, and uh, it behoves on um, uh, Donetsk and Lunek to to choose whosoever they might build a uh, affiliation with. Uh, ties. They have chosen, uh, of course, uh, their brother uh, Russia, and that's why you should uh, be intimidating and uh, trying to uh, pull them down. I mean, uh, Ukraine. So I think. Uh, if you think you can bully the Donetsk and the Dishim, a higher brother will come to bully you. I think that is what is playing out. But I think uh, they should find a, a, a common ground to, to, to dialogue. That's what and I'm uh, every say. person's right, uh, of course, should be uh, respected. Uh, sometimes uh, 
You see, when you are faced with some circumstances, you don't even need for dialogue. What comes to your your mind first is for the uh, self defense. You see, and uh, like for instance, uh, Anna, you are walking on the streets of Lagos, and somebody rushes and to to take your belongings or to confiscate your food. Would you ask person? You will look for dialogue. A convergence. There's no point of reasoning, and you want to look for the dialogue. Dialogues are pre suggests, of course, presupposes that the both parties have been able to understand and weigh the options, and understood that uh, a war might not be in the interest of uh, both parties. Then they can resort to dialogue. But if everybody uh, is still feeling I think uh, the only option for them to my people say that only law gave uh I'll go yeah let's look at the Emmy of Kano and his rank up with the, the management of APIS. I don't know if you have read that report. Yes, I have read the reports and uh, what matters here is understanding. But if any party feels uh, aggrieved or been uh, intimidated or its uh, fundamental right is being infringed on, I think they should seek redress uh, at the appropriate uh, quarters rather than all this uh, media noise. If the area or the FPS feels uh, being assaulted, I think they shouldn't expect you guys here to come to their heads. They should seek a uh, legal redress to that effect. And there are, uh, 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 there are uh, laws or code of conduct uh, that uh, that uh, regulate uh, their, their services. So if either the party, the company, the FPS, or the individual is an entity and can be sued to court, and can also seek for the dress. I think that is uh, my own take. Uh, okay. In that the immunity life pension for Senate President Speakers and uh, Deputies uh, will be debated, says the uh, House of uh, Rep members. Yes, I wish them the best. And uh, I think that is the best, not only for them, I think they should also extend it to their wives and their children and their relatives. Life pension uh, is a very good development. and. Uh, being that Nigeria has enough enormous resources to cater for that, you have enough money to spend, and uh, when you don't have where to spend it, if you have uh, built the entire roads, if you have uh, impact on a capital project, as we, we which can see, is a very laudable achievement uh, on the part of this administration. They have done exceedingly well. You can see uh, constant electricity everywhere. Everywhere have been watered and powered and uh, or fired. So there is nothing uh, wrong if they, of course, should at this time uh, uh, consider their own uh, interests. You see, they have been serving the people's interests and uh, an issue bordering on the welfare of the people. So there is nothing wrong at this time. At least let it be once uh, mentioned that uh, the National Assembly, the upper and the lower chamber can now I mean, uh, think about their own welfare, having been capturing and shouldering the welfare of Nigerians, which of course you are also affected. You now, a, you said your battery uh, is down. I don't know why your battery supply. is down, why you can't make use of the electricity supply. supply. It's very you unfortunate. Don't, don't you have? Why should your battery run down, even in the, no, in the midst of a. You, you don't. It means uh, maybe you, you need to go and pay your bills and. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. That could be the okay. the, 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 the reason. The Ukraine Russia. How? Uh, hundred dollar, hundred and three dollar at the international markets. Nigeria is importing fuel. Mm. The naira against the dollar. You know how much it is. Mm -hmm. I don't know now. How much is it? Fifty-seven, five hundred and seventy naira to one dollar. Mm. A minute. Ah oh, well, it is very slow. I expected by now it should have gone to one thousand. It means uh, there is still hope for you people. If by now it was projected that by now it should be one thousand, but uh, I think uh, that uh, projection has been uh, uh, have been uh, faulted. 
uh, probably could mean that uh, Lalai Mohammed is doing his job. And how do you mean that uh, it has affected Nigeria? Is is uh, Ukraine the problem of Nigeria? Is it is Ukraine why uh, are, there are, putting, are, are, are passengers being stranded? Fuel. Is it by who is it Ukraine that asks you or that you to uh, import fuel? Apart from Ukraine, it means there's no other place you can import uh, fuel. And by the way, what are you doing with the crude natural uh, reserve? And you said you have a refinery. Is it in Kaduna also? And you are starting one in Zam um, in Daura. And um, unfortunately, uh, maybe in Sambisa, you are budgeting for that. You see. It's very unfortunate uh, that uh, Buhari will want to blame Gowan and uh, Shagari. Since uh, it seems that uh, it is no longer a tenable extending uh, the blame to Jonathan. Maybe now you should, maybe you have not heard about Flip TV. He might be blaming Flip TV for the head speech that resulted uh, to fuel scarcity. Somebody say something that that fuel scarcity. You say if you keep your hand in your pocket in a court, mm. it is a disrespect to the judge. Good, good judge. Good disrespect. I'm buy my my this thing for me. <laughs> Look at you. This one no be no be. Good one. Where onion dune mazin nam the can dune. You say na trend that be na that is clothes. Bendy. Huh? Bendy. Bendy. This one na my own bendy. <laughs> so you do not try that. Otherwise, good court. Mm. Uh, the court that is already uh, condemned or already uh, condemned itself. So the okay. Bible says when you condemn yourself, you will not be condemned. If a constitutional lawyer will say that the, the constitution of the Nigerian uh, state is illegitimate, then you cannot be more in, in, enlightened or educated than uh, Mike or, or Zakome, who have passed a verdict against the Nigerian state. So I, 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 I'm nobody to challenge him. I think I stand upon that uh, decision or verdict. There's no other verdict that could be why, why better than that. Why have bad news when it comes to uh, Nigeria reports? Uh, just everything here, just see different kind of have you Have you gone to study, underscore the, 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 the deep meaning of Nigeria? Nigeria simply means nigger area. And nigger has to do with darkness or black either. So when you have a dark mind and uh, everything about you or surrounding you, of course, uh, should also to that same part. The Bible says, uh, as a man taken in his heart, so uh, he is. Mm. So whatever is happening within the country is not a surprise. 60 years down the line, you are still struggling for uh, to how to put food on the table of your own citizens. And uh, most people over there uh, prefer to die in Ukraine than coming down in this land of barrenness. And this land that is, of course, uh, against her own citizen, killing her own citizen on daily basis. Uh, why should you expect better news? Why you have people within the corridor of power who have no uh, interest of the country at heart? They have looted, the, of course, uh, the borrowed funds and uh, preparing for 2023 to also see the mandates of the people. And uh, unfortunately, some people are still heralding them, applauding them for stealing their own mandate. It's very unfortunate, uh, but this we cannot allow to continue. Okay. And uh, because uh, uh, they said that no power can stop an idea whose time has come. No power can stop an idea whose time has come, according to Victor Hugo. And that idea is the, this uh, dismemberment of this uh, Nigerian state. It is an idea that has been longer deferred, but the time has come. And no, of course, power can stop the disintegration of the Nigerian state. Okay. That idea is well bought over and uh, well accepted. Uh, and uh, of course, is hitting the air. That uh, you can also attest to the fact that uh, possibly your, your statements might not be enough to take you And uh, how do you intend to survive? Probably you could resort to kidnapping no, no, or I can't, I can't, uh, an informant to, to that. Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, OK, what do you uh, intend to do? Uh, uh, probably uh, God will render manners of which we are trusting just, in him. The just, shall, the live just shall live by faith. And being just is doing the right thing. So the right thing we must do at this time is to end the Nigerian system, because no power can stop 
an idea whose time has come. Thank you very much. And that idea is Biafra. Thank you very much. All hell, Biafra. Chigos, <laughs> Good morning, Mr. David. Good morning, Mr. David. Whose mandate are we standing on this morning? Zelensky. <laughs> 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 on the mandate of Zelensky. On the Zelensky. mandate of Zelensky. Wow. The president of Ukraine. Mm. His mandate, which has stand. The that Putin has alerted is a nuclear weapon. You cannot do anything. The what guys have seen? See. They are keeping mom. They are keeping tabs on him. America is watching. Top all the G7 countries are watching. So I don't think Putin is just blabbing. Putin is blabbing. He's blabbing. Cannot do anything. Forget that thing. Like, Putin, like, Putin. They never knew he was going to invade Ukraine. Yeah. I invaded Ukraine. Uh, Despite the fact that he, now how many sanctions has been placed on him now? He has been. He has, has been. He has been, been, been what? sanctions over the years. Yeah, yeah. Now there are, there are sanctions he cannot escape at this time now as as yesterday now the world bank now the world bank have placed a sanctions about 350 billion uh, US dollars on the uh, 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 on russia's foreign reserve so you are telling uh, there are a lot of sanctions tabs and then again countries they have to with him have to control the tabs so they they know okay now yesterday why is he calling for dialogue Yesterday, why was Vladimir Putin calling for dialogue? Now, uh, uh, Russia and, and rest of the world leaders said, now that dialogue should be should be should be in this country, Belarus, because yeah, that was the place he used and what attacks uh, Ukraine. Now he is now saying no. That was it. They should go to what a neutral ground. He knows the implication. See, it's going down every now and then. If even, even the people in the states are not in support of this invasion. Even people of Russia. So they're not support of this invasion. Uh, Ukraine is a sovereign state. They are starting to join NATO. They are starting to join NATO. It's like, you know, if you are 18 years old, you are gone now. The father cannot tell you what to do. I, I want not to do now. Constitution already are giving you power. At that age, they're full good of my soul. You can make decisions on your own. For the fact that, see, Ukraine belongs to the uh, defunct USSR. Doesn't mean now that what see, he still has power over them. And then kudos to the president of Ukraine. He had everything to what evacuate the state, but no, he said no. I'm uh, America offered him a what an escape route. He said no, he said I must stay and fight. Kudos to him. If not, person like body for our own. No, 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 don't come back. For our own, story. Don't come back. Now, lock, lock, lock down this. Both the, of their models you know, and their, uh, there's a boxer, heavyweight boxer, uh, which is cool. Uh, Klitschko, two, yeah. two, 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 and four. One of the Miss, uh, uh, Miss, uh, Miss uh, Belar, uh, Miss uh, Ukraine. Yeah, Ukraine too. Part of the fight. Uh, I saw so, them. Imagine. But now, you, my don't fear. Don't just compare Nigeria to. No, don't compare Nigeria. Yeah, I'm saying that was what I'm saying. I said, if not body, body for our own. If only was on our face now. No, I'm, no, I'm trying to compare and contrast what. No, you can't compare. No, Nigeria. what leadership? No, you're not getting me. I'm talking about that leadership skills. Now, the president had had every opportunity to vacate or to what evacuate the state, mm. but no, he stood and said, "I will fight my people." Mm. Now, let us narrow this discussion down to our leaders here in Nigeria. They were wrong. Uh, no, nobody can remain again. Mm. Now, what do you know now? Nobody say, mm. You said, No, this thing, Mr. You all know this. Now, the Ukraine fight and uh, the Ukraine invasion is uh, affecting Nigeria. It's affecting Nigeria because of this stupid. Our president is slow when it comes to decision making. I said it here on Saturday. He thought now, now, even when Vladimir Putin uh, vowed not to invade. You, Ukraine. America said this man was only joking. I, I, I knew this man was what would invade. Mm. UK knew. Mm. Germany knew. Mm. That was why they had to send send private jets towards towards back to towards evacuate their people back to their homes. But the president was busy, was busy drinking, drinking to drinking to watching kafa. Now, Nigerians are not trapped in Ukraine now. You are not telling Nigerians to go to Poland. 
Poland and the Ukraine shares uh, boundary now. What of what of the person that stays in the house of Ukraine now? How can the person get there? How can the person get to this boundary now in the midst of this crisis? Okay. Eh? See, see, we are not always coming to connect the president. We know that that was it. The president is not smart. He's not smart. And his advice are sue. They are dollar. Because he, he saw the move America made. He saw the move Germany made. Top, top countries were making moves to, to yeah, yeah, citizen. your own. You kept news. He was still looking for. He was he was still looking forward to borrowing money. Mm. He wants to borrow money from China. Okay, uh, one hundred and three dollar at the foreign market. Crude oil. Yeah, crude oil. As, as you... Naira. Uh, okay, okay, okay. But now the crude oil is gone up. Around, keep captain on for turnaround maintenance. And now, good up, good up has gone up now. Who's fault? It's not the fault of Nigeria. It is, the, it is the negligence of the government. So the government needs to do the needful. So to save Nigeria from all the stress. Look at now how much, how much is he set up for now? Some production sales are direct of 220. Last week, other places are saying we have fuel, we have fuel, we have fuel. As as the as strategy ended, no, we still have much. We still have more. Are they, are they lying to us? They are lying. See, it is not are they, are they lying to us. The government is not being sincere with us. If the government said they are about one billion liters of fuel now that is in circulation, where is the fuel? It is visible. Yesterday now, for me to catch her now, it's now 200. For me to beg her, it's 150. 200. And now, where is the fuel? Where is the fuel? You keep on bringing up uh, media media propaganda. Telling Nigerians, there's fuel, there's fuel now. Go to fuel station. You cannot get the fuel. Now, you get the fuel in fuel. In a very more... Uh, the fire is even very well, expensive. So that's what I'm saying. Okay, let's look at immunity. Life pension for senior president, speaker, deputies. Uh, uh, will be debated at the House of Reps. Look at another, another way. Another way of siphoning, of siphoning money. Another way of filling the masses. All, all, all that system of what? Of what In the house, aside from their money, from that five million naira monthly, now they will still get life pension again. At the essence of taxpayers' money, and when, when you are supposed to pass a minimum wage of thirty-three thousand naira 
minimum wage. Into law. It takes years. People were even begging government to please pass this bill. To be passed. But now, I bet you now, this bill now will be passed in a very speedy way. But I bet you now, because now, this one now is for their own interest now. If now they will, at a 3,000 minimum wage now, some governors are not even paying that minimum wage. But now, if governor gets life pension, now, speakers of the house now want to get life pension now. Eh? Are there sort of tax pass money now? Eh? You will borrow to you borrow to pay uh, you borrow to pay salaries. Every year you keep on rolling now the current expenditures. That is why Nigeria can never grow because all, all this nonsense. Now, if, if you if you are if you are a government, sorry, if you are a governor and your government is was is your government is about to towards just where now. You will you have two places for you to choose where you own an apartment. You you own apartments in Lagos and in Abuja. And now and there will also be what a, a life pension for you. And now your wife and your family can go overseas for medical checkup at the expense of taxpayers' money. Look at in the state. And now the same policy now. The same law now wants to be what implemented in the federal level. Eh? Okay. Opposition pickings as Jonathan weighs option 23. Yes, yes, he goes. He should declare now. If he declare, he has my support. Mm -hmm. that you now, we, if Jonathan. Jonathan declare, he has my support. Yes. If not for the fact that it was due, it was because of sentiment, tribe, and all that thing. That was why propaganda. That these people use. That was why he was being dislodged in office. Mm. If he has, if he declared today, he has the support. Mm. We don't want a man that yesterday he went to get up and his hands were shaking. Tunubu, his hands were shaking yesterday. The president, shaky, shaky president. Uh, it is trying time. Nigeria don't want such president. We saw the video yesterday. He could not speak for one hour. His hands were just shaking, shivering. Uh, uh, elsewise, it's not fit. We want a very strong private agile president because Jonathan is fit. He's fit. He's fit. If he comes back, if he declares today, he has my votes. Because now, what I want to say is that let's let us compare and contrast Bwari economy to Jonathan's economy. Oh, no, 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 no. economy. Nigeria economy was the fastest growing economy in the world. Sorry, in Africa. Pardon me. Eh? It is not quite that achievement. IMF, IMF gave it to him. IMF gave it to him. What man gave it to him? As, as at that time, the pace at which our our our, our economy was it was, it was going very, very fast. Now, how much was a sentence then? So this is what indices you will know a president that that is working. Okay. In terms of what, if I thought he, he tried, but just because of some person uses each of Boko Haram and Bandit to just destabilize his government, it's visible. It is visible. All the people that are visible now. Again, how much do you buy a bag of rice? How much cost of living compared to this time? So we don't want a president that his hands is shaking. Okay. Thank you very we want much. a very sound and vibrant president. Thank you very much, Mr. David. We are standing on the mandate of uh, Zelensky this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Aboki, uh, no, no, no. Only him, only him, only him. Aboki Nibu, good morning. Good morning, Aboki Nibu. What is the problem? I see the situation of the country. You know, for the Philippine town. I I stand in the place. I ask him question, question. Now, look at Paul. Now, even me will let it lay my motor. I fight him. You back him. Will let you. What's happened to your motor? Yeah. I say, say, where are you coming? Say, I'm a best bomber. Come on now, see. Paul, I know you. Paul, hey, you go Paul, man. 
for felicitation for day for wallahi dey go say go pay money i go open gate say people are open gate i give if i dey buy 5 liter for coal 100 naira if i dey buy 25 liter 500 wallahi motor mo before motor i go enter you get another gate i dey do for lobby Kolobi eh moni kolobi moni go ari go me moni o elai o ayo ayo okay okay if you don't give me money i go open the gate that is for the whole issue mhm mm yo wala let me more talk about uh, ukraine Russia Ukraine I will lie to the fear billion about Ukraine and Russia Allah my dear what in Russia I do I know what the president the president you know the president of Russia with you oh this thing will lie is a similarity to the what is going on in Nigeria and government what do you mean that you mean go as possession me let me have my own person independent Boba Akba let me rule myself now okay you can I say leave me Ukraine eh okay in Russia come I say the president you know good leave me the something Nigeria eh in and the kwanu in and the kwanu I say leave me let me go to the Afra I say no oga which dimension da ella oga journalist This is MC about any boy that talk about my as Nigerian from my belly it is not good the Nigeria Nigeria president won uh, Russia to stop uh, entering Ukraine Oga okay. that is why I am telling you somebody I never serve my privilege I get your house Kuma I dey go international privilege what can a human mean Save yourself charity I begin for home hmm. Mm. I go set to myself. Eh? Before I want to go international. I know but that least you still get mad to stop. Which amount I get? How about that journalism? Which amount? Which amount? Nigeria giant of Africa. Head of Africa. Giant giant of Africa. Nigeria. Yeah. Giant biggest black nation in the world. Yeah, yeah, in the Nigeria, world. Nigeria yes. biggest. Yes, yes. Be like a nation. Yeah, yes. yes. I will learn about journalism. I know I know that job. Very good. Nigeria agenda of Africa. But what are the corruption aspect of it? Corruption aspect of Nigeria. Where I can drop them? Is it? Okay. What's the solution to Nigeria now? Solution. The solution for Nigeria now. I'm telling you the truth. Not everybody. If I go rule myself, I rule myself. Hmm. Give them Biafra, Biafra. Give them Odudua, Odudua. Give them our side. Give them Sharia. Simple. No, no. Give our side Sharia. Sharia, man. Give our side. Uh, give uh, Yoruba Odudua. Odudua, man. Give. Uh, uh, Ibo. Give Ibo. Give Ibo. Biafra. Biafra. Nine B. I'm telling you. I, I, Aboki. You be Aboki. Which one you want to join? Eh, hey, you see, I say, I say, patriotic person, international. I am telling me the truth. I am not going to segregate. I am not biased. As international person, mm. any country that I do good, I can advise on the country. I will come in the person as possible. Any country that do good, very go, well. Go join the yes, from Nigeria. But before them do good, where you go there? Eh, go down. I got. Let me. Let me see. Yeah, because they are doing Biafra, what is not good. I will join in Biafra. You join Biafra. Yes. Biafra, you join Biafra. Why don't you join your brother? My brother. Eh. Hey, I go join my brother later days. When he don't connect to us. I be also come and be full. Somebody I go for and say I be meet Allah. I go for and for. I know for sure. Oh my evil boy boy in the one who I boy say give me freedom you force me send the boy I say you force me what to be my job come me here tell you I go boy go talk to me I know possible why 
Thank you very much, MC Aldoki. Thank you very much for that uh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful analysis. Thank you. I get it to me. Journalism, I get it to me. Thank you. Okay, we have come to the end of bystanders at this stand this morning. Thank you for being patient with us, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being part of the program. I'm Christian Chupo. I'd like to say bye for now to tomorrow as we meet on the same platform at uh, the same time here in Ogre. I will say uh, kudos to you and have a wonderful day. Thank you. We don't close.